I think the uh, campaign uh, against France and Britain by the German Wehrmacht in May 1940, uh, which was fueled by methamphetamine, 35 million dosages were distributed officially uh, for the troops just before the attack. That uh, I, I studied very carefully how that campaign was run and how the methamphetamine was given to the tank troops. That was that was quite interesting to me. And is there a sense in which you know drugs have actually been used in many wars? I mean, the Americans, for example, gave uh, troops in Vietnam speed and amphetamine. How did this differ? Uh, well, they all learned from the Nazis. Um, the Nazis were the first. Uh, um, uh, they, they were the first uh, 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 government that gave their, their own army a very potent drug. And then other armies. When, the, when, when pilots, German pilots, were shot down over Britain, uh, they found these methamphetamine tablets uh, in the planes. And then the, the, the British uh, experimented themselves and, and used amphetamines. And then the Americans did it. And in the Korean War, the Americans did it. And we can see it up to today that uh, armies are using drugs to enhance their, their fighting power. In the Islamic State, for example. Also, um, yes. Could you make the claim, then, that drugs change the course of history? Well, we just have to acknowledge that drugs are part of, 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 of the process of how decisions are made or of how, how things develop. And historians so far have turned a blind eye on the subject. So I tried to, to, I tried to change that in Blitz. And it was seeing Hitler's doctor's notes that persuaded you to write, is that right? Yeah, when I saw them for the first time, I realized that there is uh, such a wealth of uh, information uh, that, that, that tells you something about the, the, what was going on in the inner circles that, that I thought this, is, this might be really interesting for, for a book. And his personal physician, was, uh, his family was reportedly partly Jewish. I mean, that was striking, wasn't it? Um, well, there were all kinds of rumors about Morel, also that he was an agent, because, uh, agent from a foreign power trying to destroy uh, Hitler. So, I mean, Morel is a very colorful character, and uh, the relationship between Morel and Hitler is, is, is kind of the core of the book, and I was, I was quite fascinated by that, actually.